So, I've been radio silent lately. I haven't been posting a lot. It's not that I haven't been doing anything. There's, there's reasons why I haven't. But I'm going to spare you the list of everything. And I'm going to narrow it down to two things. First, to be frank, I've been bored. I've been bored of the way I make videos, the videos that I was making I wasn't happy with. I was bored with just doing tutorials. I don't know, I just felt like I wasn't enjoying it and it's hard to do something when you're not enjoying it at all. I was just constantly unhappy with my videos, with what they were about, how I did them. They, it just seemed to be this normal pattern of just do a move and, and that was it. So I'm going to take this opportunity to try to change things up and do things a little bit differently this time around. I'm going to do videos the way I want to do them. I'm going to take some chances. I mean, you may not even like the videos the way they come out, but they're going to have a lot more work put into them, a lot more things happening in them. And honestly, I think you will like them better. They might take a little bit longer to come out than they were before. It was just like a week after week thing. But I think it'll be worth it. So that was that's like the first big part, the first main part of why I really wasn't making content for a while. Now, we'll get to the second one later, but first... Maybe we try things a little different. So I'm going to do a little tutorial. I'm going to show you a color change with the, you know, playing cards, obviously, and then I'll tell you a little bit more of what's going on, and we'll have some fun, and that will be that. So we're going to go over the classic palm color change, which is a pretty dope color change when used at the right times and properly, and then we're going to go over some ways to get into it, some little touches to kind of step it up a little bit, and uh, angles. That's about it. Uh, obviously you're going to need to have a card in the palm and if you don't know how to do a palm I have a video on it which you can click right about there to find out more about palms but there's a lot of different palms we can use uh, I'm gonna use a palm from the top of the deck for now uh, I'm using the Joe Berg palm and now what you're gonna do is you're gonna have the cards the deck in your hand that's gonna be uh, I guess making the change happen. <laughs> so the cards that are in the hand, they're gonna be kind of loose. You want them loose and you want the cards to kind of play a little bit. This is gonna help later on when we start doing things like adding extra cards to make the change uh, a little bit more advanced. But for now you have a card palm and you're gonna start to wave over the deck. And as you wave over the deck of one of the passes down, you're gonna drop the card onto the pack right so you're basically doing that but because you're going to be moving your hand this is going to align it for you so it's like this kind of symbiont action this hand goes up this hand goes down then you're going to come back and squeeze and you just want your hands moving in a fluid fluid motion so that when the change happens it just kind of appears so that's the simple action you have a card palm if you don't want to show the card before, you can palm the card like this. Now you show the card, you begin to wave. Your hands kind of drift on one of the waves down. You're going to release the card. Your hand's going to continue to drift. And you see how it just aligns itself? I'm going to purposely mess this up here. And as my hand kind of just moves around, right, like it fixes itself. You see what I'm saying? Like even if I do it up here and I move my hand around, it just fixes itself. So that's kind of important to remember when you're doing this move. Your hands are going to come here, you're going to wave, and now you can change. Now you see there, 
I actually did it with a few cards, more than one. That's gonna be the next step. It's gonna be a little bit more advanced. So continuing on with this, we're gonna start with the cards that are on top of the deck. We're just gonna palm a few. Could be two, could be three. I wouldn't go any more than three. I think three is fine. So you palm, you show the cards, you give it a wave, and now you're gonna do the same thing. But now you can push off and show that the card has changed. So I'm using the series one playing cards right now. This is the red series, mostly because I haven't gotten the blue ones in yet. But uh, when they do come in, this is what they're gonna look like. This is the blue box. And you can order them now at no one dot shop. Now these are part of something much bigger that you could take part in. It's an ARG, which is an alternate reality game. These cards give extra clues and have an intricate part in what's going on in the story of the game. This first deck actually gave you the way into the, the, the game without have, with, uh, with a clue that's on the box. And now there's a way to get into the game for free, which is much harder. The second deck gives you a clue to progress into the game more. Now the first deck did have some issues. There was some inconsistency issues with some of the cards and uh, we solved that problem. So this deck is going to be more consistent and uh, we've changed the marking system a little bit also so that it's a little bit clearer because the way we did it before it messed with the ink. So if you've already ordered your cards, thank you. If you're gonna order cards, thank you. If you play the ARG, thank you. If you played for free, thank you. I want you to experience it with me, and I think together we can make this really something awesome. So go check out noone.shop, get your Series 1 playing cards, or you can get Dead Hands. They're still available if you'd like as well. Also, if you, if you just enjoy my videos, thank you. If you comment and subscribe, thank you. I, I appreciate all of you, and I know I don't say it a lot, but I really do appreciate all of you who do support and who help me out. And buying my cards, buying my tricks, they do help support me and keep this going. Uh, I'm really excited about this ARG and I want you to check it out. There's gonna be a link in the description below that if you wanna try the ARG, you can get into it for free. Just follow the link or you could buy the cards and even if you buy this deck, this deck will grant you entry into the ARG at an easier path. Whether you buy this deck, whether you don't buy the deck, if you're just watching, if you're just commenting, I, I, I thank you. Okay, let's talk about some more advanced things you can do. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna reverse the bottom card, okay? Just gonna reverse that card. And now uh, you could have a card selected and you're gonna put that card face up on top of the deck. And from here, I'm going to palm the bottom card. Now I'm gonna show you the way I palm the card from the bottom of the deck because it is a little bit different. I'm gonna push the card out and then I'm gonna pivot it so it's like this. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna allow me to pull it out with my thumb. And if I come across the top of the deck, I could push it and with my thumb, I could pop it into palm. So without much finger action, I could go from the bottom of the deck into a palm like this. And now I'm in the same position. I'm gonna wave over the deck. My hands are gonna move. At some point, I'm gonna drop. And when I'm here, I'm going to now do a double lift. Whichever double lift you wanna do is fine. And that way you can now get the change back to the original card. So that's something else you could do. Uh, if you want, you could prep by having a card reversed like this and you do the same sort of thing. You turn over the top card, you palm off the bottom cards like this, and now when you give it a wave and you push off the top card, you're clean. So that's an extra little touch you could do with something like that. And otherwise, from the bottom of the deck, you could do the same sort of thing. Like, let's say I wanna change it to a five, I'm gonna palm the bottom cards. You could palm it from the middle of the deck. It doesn't matter where you palm it from. So let's take the, we're gonna change the seven of diamonds into the five of spades. So you come here, of course you wanna watch that index finger. I have a problem flaring my index finger for some reason. You're just gonna do the same thing. You're gonna give it a little wave and then you're gonna push off the top card and you're clean. Of course, you can add more cards. So let's do three cards. So you come to here, you give it a little wave and now you could push off two if you wanted. Right? And let's talk about some of the angles. Now, when you're palming, of course, that's gonna be a bad angle, right? So you don't want people to look inside your hand like this. I know the camera is moving, but you don't want people to look inside your hand like that. So as long as you keep 
the back of your hand facing your audience, you will never flash a palm. Okay, and important things to keep in mind when you're doing this, you want to keep the, the contact points, the base of your thumb and the pinky so that your fingers are free to uh, move. And all, all I'm doing there is this. This is the only movement that's really happening. I'm just straightening my finger just a little bit. I'm going from relaxed to there, right? So this is the difference in holding it and then not holding it. Very little movement. So even if you do this super slow, and you come across super slow, you can see almost no movement in the top hand. And as long as people are looking at the back of your hand or even the front part of your hand here, they will never see the card. Look at, look, look at how good the angles are on this. Right about there is where I start to flash. But otherwise, I could do it right from here, right? And it still won't flash. So that's it. Go check out No One Shop. Get Series 1 Blue. Enjoy the ARG. We're going to do some more tutorials, and I hope you liked the way this video looked and turned out. There's going to be some more things happening in these videos because I want to start having a little more fun in my videos, and that means it's going to take some more work, which I'm excited to do. And I'll see you guys soon. I'll see you guys real soon. I appreciate all of you. Thank you.